hi guys so today we'll be talking about head to toe skincare you can use if you're a caramel tone and if you want your skin to be glowing and radiant hi besties and welcome back to my channel so we all know that if you're caramel skin there are products that you need to look out for you don't need to get products that are for fair people so that you don't tend to bleach your skin and if you're having a caramel skin you need to understand your skin type if you have a dry skin oily skin sensitive skin or combination skin but in today's video i'm going to be starting from your face to your body what you can use to enhance your skin tone to make you look very good first thing we're going to start with is our bar soap what are the kind of bar soap you try to look out for if you are caramel skin the first type of bar soap you want to look out for is the dove beauty cream bar this is very good because it can serve as a cleansing bar it can serve as a body um, bar and it can also serve as a body moisturizer because it leaves your body very moisturized after you are done bathing so if you are somebody that you're on a very tight budget and you don't want to get body um you don't want to get you know a body wash you can actually get the dove beauty bar you can also get you can also get the dove um, pampering care bar that's very good too you can get the papaya drip soap very nice for caramel skin too and you are really 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 going to love it so if you have some of that on a budget i've listed like five soaps that you can get if you want your skin to be glowy radiant and beautiful so another thing that you want to get is body scrubs why are body scrubs very essential body scrub helps you to exfoliate dead skin cells so that your new product can work in also lock in the moisture of your skin so whenever you want to get a body scrub you are going for body scrub that will help you clean up the dead cells so that the new product you are applying are not just wasting you are using they are working and types of body scrubs that you can get you can get the cool spa body scrub you can get the doctor mini alpha butin aha and bha body scrub very very good if you are caramel skin these are the two body scrubs i would recommend if you are caramel skin and you need a very affordable body scrub you can get the cool pad smirk body scrub you can also get the cool spa rose water um body scrub this is very thin and you are really really going to love it why because i've tried this product tested and trusted product that will change your skin and mind is not like because you want to change your skin tone you're expecting results in two to three days skincare doesn't work that way you need to take your time you need to take time to use your skincare product and you are really 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 going to enjoy it another thing that you might want to look out for are your body wash what kind of body wash do i need to get if i am you know on a budget and i need good body wash that will work for me you can get the nivea um body wash you can get any of the dove body wash they are very very good but if you know that you cannot get a body wash just get any of this body scrub and pair it with a good body soap that i've mentioned earlier body bath soap that will help your skin make your skin look good you don't need to break the bank to get the best of products that you need for your skin you can actually start with the products that you have and you are really really going to love it so mind you now we've listed you bath soaps that you can use body scrubs and body wash so what do i need then i need body lotion if you know that your caramel skin you can actually try out this body lotion the nivea body lotion the nivea radiance and beauty vitamin c body lotion or you can try the vaseline guta eye and um, uv serum boost lotion very very good for caramel skin because your skin is going to be glowing you're going to have an even skin tone and mind you always moisturize your hand whenever you moisturize your body don't always leave your body out of your moisturizing process right because you need to moisturize your hand so that you don't tend to look glowy and your hand and your leg is very flaky and dry always take time to moisturize your hand and your leg you can use this body lotion very very good you can use the um, vaseline guta eye body lotion very very nice you can use the disa vitamin c body lotion very very good for caramel skin tone and you are really going to love it so after that you know the next tools to apply if you know it let me know in the comment section if you know the next thing to apply okay okay the next thing to apply is your body oil next body oil that you want to use you want to use body oils that that smells nice that will work for your skin tone mind you you are not bleaching your skin if you want brightening body oils they are brightening body oils but yeah i'm going to be listing body oils that you can use that will complement your body lotion that you are using this is my third bottle or fourth bottle of this lotion and me i've been loving it so far i also have the vast Nengota high serum uv boost lotion very very nice too but this one i've been loving it so far and i think that i'm not going to stop anytime soon so you can pair it with your desired vitamin c oil or the desired cocoa oil or the vaseline cocoa radiant beauty oil very very good these oils will work perfectly for your audible body oils that you can use and you're really going to see results on your skin because your skin is going to be glowing you are going to see that your skin is glowing and you're really going to love the result that you get on your skin mind you all of these products that i've listed are very very affordable so if you want to get a body sunscreen if you're somebody that work on that sun, you can get the atmogi body sunscreen it's actually for your body and face so you can get that body sun you can use the sunscreen for your body and for your face now onto products 
product for face we all know that our face is one of the most essential parts of our body so what do we need to look out for we need to look out for products that will work for our skin that will make our face hydrated our body is always our face is always exposed in mind you know, i'm wearing a cloth right so my body is not exposed to the sun but my face is always exposed directly to the sun my hands and my legs that's why i'm always saying that if you are going out you know you are going to be out for a while make sure you apply your sunscreen on your hand make sure you apply on your leg so that your skin will thank you do not just apply products on your face only your face should be growing and your hand is dry and your legs are flaky we don't want that on this channel so on this channel i'm going to be teaching you products that you will use for your face that will make your face hydrated that will make your face glow and you're really going to love the result of all of these products mind what are the things that you need first for your product you need your cleansers you need toners you need moisturizers you need serums you need sunscreen so I've arranged it in order of preferences, in order of um, arrangement. I'm going to when I'm listing them, you're going to see the way I'm going to be arranging, arranging them. So the first thing that you want to look out for when you want to start your face journey, your face skincare is your cleansers. What do cleansers do? Cleansers help you to remove impurities or dead. They help you to remove all of those dead from your face so that the product that you want to apply will work. Mind you, if you are using all of your products and you're not using a cleanser, you are wasting your money go and start your clean your skincare properly again product on death and on death and on death and you're not washing your face so make sure that you invest in a good cleanser it doesn't have to be an expensive cleanser the only reason why your cleanser have to be always be expensive whenever i talk on this channel is if you have acne on a budget and you want to get good cleansers you can get this cleanser this is the dr rachel salicylic face wash I, I always use this cleanser every day to be honest and i don't see anything like this in stripping off my face but if you are a very dry skin girl i think that you should not go for this cleanser you can go for the vitamin c oil you can go for the face fight ceramide cleanser you can go for um new skin cleanser the one that has amino acid that also gently exfoliates your skin you can go for the beauty formula vitamin c cleanser these face cleansers are very nice and you are really going to love them if you are on a budget next thing i need to look out for my products next thing i need to look out for are toners what do toners do toner help me to balance the ph of my skin toners help me to remove the impurities that my face that my cleansers could not remove completely toners are very helpful in my routine and i'm going to be getting toners that will be very useful so one toner that will soothing toner this toner has been doing magic if you are on a tight budget you might get the simple soothing toner you might get the beauty vitamin c um formula tonic you can get um the rose water rose water is about 2000 right now very very good all of these products are very good for hydration though hydrate your skin balance your skin pH so that the product that you are sending in next to work so mind you after this what is the next thing i need on my routine I need a serum. So what kind of serum do I need to look out for? If I have hyperpigmentation, I go for serums that consigns me with hyperpigmentation. And the products I'm with, the serums that I use, I use the Good Molecule Discolorating Serum. This is very nice. If you are not on a tight budget, you might want to get about 16 to 17,000 naira only. But if you are on a tight budget, you can go for the Dr. Asher White Skin Alpha Butin and Niacinamide. If you are on this channel for a long time, you know that that is my favorite cleanser. That is my favorite serum to use. So you can actually use this serum and you are going to love it. So mind that I've mentioned two serums that you can use another serum that you can also use if you are on a very tight budget is the face fact vitamin c serum or the beauty formula vitamin c serum you can also use the niacinamide serum or the beauty formula glowing serum the one that has niacinamide you can also get the one that have aha and bha for gently for gently uh, for gentle exfoliation of your skin serums that i might want to look out for because i have a particular skincare concern so what else do i need to look out for my moisturizers what kind of moisturizers do i need to look out for i need to look out for moisturizers that will moisturize my skin if i'm a dry skin girly i look for moisturizers that are water-based because water-based if you pour water on your skin notice the way it just absorbs into your skin or it doesn't it's very light to it those are the type of moisturizers i look out for i don't look out for moisturizers that are very thick like oil-based moisturizers so if i'm a dry skin girl i'll look for night um the Cosrx All-in-One Advanced Nail Cream, or I'll look out for the um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. But if I'm, I have a dry skin, I'll look out for the Dr. Ashton Niacinamide Brightening Cream, or I'll look out for the Face Fight, um, Face Fact, um, um, the Face Fight Price Ceramide Cream, the one that contains oats. You are really going to love it, and they do the job very well. So now, what is the next thing that we need in our routine? A sunscreen. What is the next thing that we need in our routine? We need a sunscreen. What does sunscreen do? All of these products that we have used, if we the sunscreen, you have wasted your money. Just the same way the, um, your cleanser is important, that's the same way your, your sunscreen is very, very, very paramount. So if you have somebody that on a very tight budget, get a sunscreen, power UV sunscreen.
this is my sunscreen and it is not very cheap so i don't make sure you guys get sunscreens that will work for you because all of these products will not work without a sunscreen and the best thing to do is that you apply this product be very consistent with it don't just apply product take your time to apply it apply a lot on your skin don't be stingy with the patient be consistent and do not be stingy with applying your product and trust me within weeks or yes within weeks you will start seeing visible results on your skin and i'm really going to love your skin if you pay more attention to all of these products and not just get random products that you see make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications if you want to see more of my videos and i'll be in the comment section answering all your questions answering all the questions that you have for me bye guys